He's saying that in Bakunov's youth, he wrote a number of different articles and books like in the form of English poetry. So he's asking how Guri Vaishnavas regard these sort of articles and books of Bakunov Thakur. Why he wrote? I, I can only guess. <laughs> but um, Srila Bhakti Nath Thakur, uh, though he was an eternal associate of the Lord in his youth, uh, he appeared as if he was he was not exhibiting his uh, characteristic as a Vaishnava. He was, uh, of course, very religious-minded, very philosophically-minded. He studied many different scriptures, and but it, it at least appeared externally that he had not embraced fully the path of Vaishnavism or Gaudiya Vaishnavism. Uh, so we take this as a pastime of the Lord, in order to fulfill a, a certain purpose, uh, as was explained uh, by some of the other devotees. The, the particular social climate at the time, the, the British were in charge of India, and they were very strongly preaching against Vedic knowledge, against all the Vedic scriptures, and indoctrinating the youth into uh, either Christian concepts or just materialistic concepts. So, and simultaneously, uh, the Gaudiya Vaishnavism was not in very high regard at the time because of so many Sahajya practices. So, um, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, by uh, being, he was highly respected for his, that he was an intellectual, he was a very responsible, uh, had a very responsible post in society. Uh, so because of his, his external appearance, uh, it was easy for people to respect him. So that when he fully manifested his uh, nature as an unalloyed uh, associate of the Lord and a staunch advocate of Gaudiya Vaishnavism, then he was so influential, so many persons could accept because uh, it wasn't that he, because of his position in society as a, as a magistrate, as an intellectual, as a broad thinker. So, as far as I understand, the writings he did in his youth were in that mood. They were a part of his lila in order to set a certain platform from which people would be able to accept him when he fully adopted the uh, line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Putri Vishman Bhakti Chakyan Kesha Vaitinami Ati Matta Charitaya Swastikanam Sapalini Jiva Dukhe Sadaataya Nam Sainu Pradaya Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutri Shishman Bhakti Shiddham Sarashvati Inam Namam Bhakti Vinodaya Sachidanam Narami Ghov Shakti Shavupaya Rupam Gudaraya You have heard so many things. About two hours you are hearing. And <coughs> devotees are having so much in so many uh, ways in the lives, in <coughs> teaching, in the writings, in mood of preaching, everything has been taught. But yet everything had not been told. Brahma kind of told 
tell before how mouse, how we can do all these things. Especially he was transcendental and we are not transcendental. So how we can touch his glory? A transcendental person can touch the glory of transcendental. But we have heard some from our Gurudev, from other Vaishnavas and Sarvi, from other books which are attentive. So, all of it told that he was Sattam Goswami. After Sattam Sattam Goswami, up to Bhakti Thakur, anyone has not take, taken this upana of Sattam Goswami. Only the learned persons and devotees saw the glorious activities of Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur and they gave this upana title of Sattam Goswami. If Bhakti was, but Bhakti no, Thakur was not there at that time, I think the, all the teachings and pure Gaudiya Vaishnavism has gone to ocean forever. <coughs> he enlightened again all these things. It was like a darkness period for Gaudiya Vaishnava. At that time, Anyone like Sahaji are eager to give Siddha, Siddha process, Siddha Pranali. They call, they used to call it Siddha Pranali. And Siddha Deha. To all. They don't know even, they, those persons, not devotees that don't, don't knew any Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy, no sadhacha, nothing. And they used to go to their guru, like Sahaji Babaji, and he used to give them this Siddha Deha and Siddha Pranadi. They are a mis, uh, misconception of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teachings. That to be with a, uh, a wife of another person and to go to Vrindavan and what? And to be with her and making children and this is go your body. Like this. That you are gopi. This is Siddha, Siddha Deha. Oh, come on, come on. I am giving you Siddha, Deha and Siddha Pranam. <coughs> to whom? He is not knowing anything, every city of <coughs> any teaching, Chapcha Uttanda Mahaprabhu. And he knows that I am this body. <coughs> he does not know that. I am so, I am the part and parcel and servant of Krishna eternally. He knows nothing. Even he don't know that after tool going to after passing, I don't know how to clean. How to clean? Ever this nothing. But they were given at that time. Siddha Deha and Siddha Pranali. That you are goopy. What is goopy? <laughs> they used to think I love her and love it, beloved. In this world, like this. So they, they think that collect any lady and be with him and enjoy and this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu philosophy, this prayer. At the time of death of any person, taking some money and they used to do Kirtan Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna and fall in the, what, that dead body. Dead body. 
and having some points, some rupees for that. Understand what I am telling? What I do? If anyone was dead and he is a rich person, he told that collect some Vaishnav and he went to this Vaishnav Jati, Vaishnav and told that I will give you some money and so join our this procession of dead body. And he used to do Kirtan. So they used to do Kirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Like this. No one word of Krishna coming. And all people. Oh, very good, very good. They used to give some ruby to them. <laughs> also drinking, drinking wine, no heart. Taking place and also meat and fishes, no heart. They are called fish. So all learned person, educated person, is used to have so much shame for this. So don't you to come in this place, go your wish not. So, Bhakti Vinod Thakur was the first person. He introduced the Chaitanya, philosophy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in learned society. And then, all knew this thing. That what is Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy? What was the philosophy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? What is the really transcendental love and friend? After that. So he is from Goswami, like Bhagiras, who brought Ganges in India. So he brought Bhakti Ganga in this world. And again, all became Krishna and Nishpaya in this Gaudiya Vaishnava. If there was no Bhakti no Thakur, we have not planned this mission. Never. If Swamiji was not here, but Swamiji was not gone to Srila Bhakti Veda, Siddhan Saraswati Thakur and Siddhan Saraswati not coming from Bhakti Vinod Thakur, then where do you are? So it is all coming from Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He preached the doctrines were quite pure. Some say that he has not taken Diksha from Jagannath Asura. And he has not taken Babaji based from anyone. He took himself Babaji based. And Srila Bhakti Vinod, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati also did not take, did not do, uh, sannyas from anyone. So they are not bona fide Chaitanya Mahaprabhu line. They talk, tell it, uh, lacking of intelligence and ignorance. They don't know what is Bhagavad Parampara, Guru Parampara and all these things. That is why they are. Bhakti Vinod Thakur has given a very good line as Nadi Prabhu told and all others told. In Jaiva Dharma, Jaiva Dharma is last book, last book, final book. He has written everything clearly how a Siddha Deh can be given to anyone? And who is qualified? Qualified person to take this? First, this, in Bhajan Bhashyam, he has tell, written so many things very deeply. Those who want to enter in Bhakti realm, they should try to follow this Bhajan Bhashyam and Jaiva Dharma. His all books are there. First we should try to serve first a slow, Cheto Dhanaparam Arjanam Bhav Mahatabhagni Nirvapanam. Then we should follow and practice second day slow, Nam Namakari Bahudhanya Sarvasha. Then third, what? 
Be like this and keep it practiced. Then come in fourth slope. Nathanam Najanam. Yes, will be detached from worldly desires and worldly tastes. Then when you will be pure, always chanting and remembering without any disturbance, then fifth will come. Ainanda Tanujika. This is Siddha In the beginning. Who am I? I am eternal servant of Krishna. In what time? Everything in is our Atma. But like everything, potency is there in seed. So all the potency of that Bhakti and everything in that in our Atma. But without water, Air, light, a seed is not sprouted, and leaves and branches of any, and flowers, manjaris, and after that fruit also comes. It is all in that seed of that creeper. But when it will be touched by the air, water, sunlight and all these things, then he will be sprouted, otherwise not. So when this fifth slok, Jiva Saru and after that, Nainam Galadar Sudharaya, Badanam Galadar Sudharaya Gira, Ulukarneti Tangva Bhokata, Tavanam Grahani Bhavishyati, when and when he, and when he will realize these things in his Atma. And he will see that I am eternal servant of Krishna. The, no worldly uh, attachment at that time. That time, mercifully, the Sarp Shakti will manifest Ladini and some in the heart of that devotee. Then he will begin to be he will rolling down on the earth at the taking the name of Krishna. Hmm. Like Agatamani Yashoda Nanda. Hey Nanda Suno, where you are? Hmm. Sometimes he will see in a glance and at once he will run towards Krishna and Krishna will go out of sight and he will be rolling down, feeling separation. If anyone not feeling separation for Krishna, Siddha Devi has come. So at that time, Siddha Devi will come, not before this. If anyone doing this thing, artificially, they will go to hell. Like Babaji, left and left, Babaji in Vrindavan, Radha Kunda, they are only giving birth of children, Huh? and doing nonsense things. We know one of the brother of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur, the son of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, hmm? Kedarna Bhakti Vinod, not of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He used to know that that physical body was Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, and we are son of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. But Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur never told like this. He told like the associates of Krishna, Radha and Chaitanya. Not as the father, that he was uh, blood and flesh and all these things. But all his sons were like this, that we are the children of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So, really, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur followed the path of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And what he told, he totally admitted and he followed that. So, well, the Bhakti, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is disciple or anything of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So, our goal is Siddha Dev. But what is Siddha Pranali? 
who started it from where it came in what year it came from whom came from whom came this shila rup sanatan goswami and rup goswami the sanatan goswami rup goswami no baba ji anyone does not tell them that rup baba ji and sanatan baba ji shila raghunath baba ji and who get this siddha pranali to him what is siddha pranali siddha pranali is sik shastak from beginning those who first they should know that i am eternal subject of krishna of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu nityananda and following trinadapi sunej and becoming detached from worldly attractions and chanting in remembrance always 24 hours in the guidance of any very qualified vaishnava tannam roop charitadi sukrutanam kramena rasanam anisiniyojya तीर्थन प्रजे तदानुरागी जनानुगामी कालम नये दखिलामी पीड़ितं देशी सिद्ध प्रणाम रघुनाथ दास दोषा में आए सोचते हैं दौर देशी सिद्ध प्रणाम भी इन मनसिक्षा all are this प्रणाम and without accepting all these things oh you are gopi you are lalita gopi you are vishaka gopi from where it came who first get this there is no history it is not our culture it is not the teaching of chaitanya mahaprabhu really siddha day comes from this this is siddha pranali coming from shraddha to nishtha shraddha then guru karan guru bhajan guru seva and after that भजन प्रणाली श्रवण कृतम विष्णु स्मरण पाद सेवन अर्चन वंदन दाख्यात्मेदन और साधु संग नाम कीर्तन भागवत श्रवण मथुरा वास्ती पुत्री श्रद्धा सेवन दीदेसिफुली श्रीमती राधिका विल मर्सिफुली Give this siddha day, as in Simad Bhagavat it is stated, Narad took mantra from Sanatanandan Sanatan, and he left his mother dying. He was dying, and yet he left her mother and went to dense forest. He took his dear bath, and he sat down very silently, and he began to chant that mantra. we don't know how many years he practiced and after that krishna came at once in his heart and at once when he started he was weeping so much so much weeping then a akashmani voice from the sky and Voice from the sky. The sky came, and he heard that Narad, I will not give you darshan again in this material body. You should go on chanting, remembering in this whole world, always chanting and remembering, and glorifying my past times. At the nick of time, death will come. and you will put your legs feet on the head of death and you will be liberated now begin to do this always chanting remembering doing on his vina jantra radhika ramana nam narad bajaye vina radhika ramana nam like this जशोमती नंदना 
ब्रजबलनाग गोकुलरंजन कान गोपी परनथन मातन मनोहर कालिया दमन लाइक दिस ऑफ लाइक दी फर्स्ट हैंड्स ऑफ कृष्णा इन हिज ओन पोएट्रीज ओन सॉन्ग आफ्टर सो मेनी इयर्स देव के एडवांस सिद्ध देव के and that shit the day he don't did not uh, used biman or anything no airplane nothing like dhruva he was so much strong to go any far in this world by this body that was transcendental body this is shit the day and this is not the process that anyone coming to guru dev give me some dakshina at least 5 rupees <laughs> and you will be um, I, i will be the um, guru dev of so many shishya now and this temptation uh, they make so many dishes like the baba ji giving shiddhare and go to hell with their disciples and guru both so we should try to know all the processes that bhakti gunam thakur has told there will be shamana dasha varana dasha there will be smarana dasha apana dasha bhavapan dasha and then sampatti huh? dasha in sampatti dasha this is the devil come first shravan dasha you will have to hear by any bona fide guru shrimad bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrita all the philosophy of rupa goswami everything and after varan dasha in samana dasha so there are so many things so many things after that it will come varan dasha we will have to practice in samana dasha there are so many things who are you what is your name of this not this body of that body transcendental body guru knows and if guru not knows and by kalpana he tells tells that kalpana imagination that it is false so guru knows all these things who are you what is your name what is relation with krishna what is relation with shrimati radhika and gopis where you live what is your name of father mother what is your service how is your beautiful roof roof means form. form and what is where you live that is radha kunda javar nandana or varshana you are daughter of vishwabhang or anything and after that what is agya agya means what is the service of radha and krishna conjugal and palyadashi bhav and so many things elegant you will have to hear and then practice so in saman dasai from beginning of jayo dharma and shrimad bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrita all the books of rupa swami will have to hear and to know all these things then it will be saman dasha not that you went to your guru the guru they told that i am very beautiful gopi and your name is lalita <laughs> at once and this is the prelude we don't know who began this siddha pranam at the time of vishwanath vishwanath chakravarti thakur vishwanath thakur baba ji 
Anyone can tell him, Babaji? It's an Acharvati Thakur. So at that time, the world know this process to give anyone to um, this bogus Gopi Bhav. Hmm? Not that. This should come in the real process. This was the main object of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has one, two lines. His teachings are in only two lines. Jeeva Daya, Krishna Naam, Sarva Dharmusha. Jeeva Daya, Krishna Naam, Sarva Dharmusha. What is this? Essence of all the teachings of Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Bhagavat, Gita, Puran, Shriti, Smriti, Pancharatra, everything is essence to things. Jeeva Daya, Krishna Naam. What is the meaning of Jivedaya? Jivedaya? Mercy to? To conditions. What is that? Bhakti Vinod Thakri has told. What is Jivedaya? If you are successful in helping any conditioned soul, to turn his mood, worldly modes, to turn towards Krishna service. This is best daya or mercy to any condition. It is more than lakhs and lakhs hospital doing, university doing, lakhs and lakhs dollars of charities. It is more special. Only a realized soul can give this. So this is Jeeva Daya. How he we can attain? Only by name. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam Aiva, Only Nam. Name is himself Krishna. But we can make it pure in the association, association of very bona fide Vaishnava, bona fide Guru. Otherwise, we cannot take pure name and pure Shuddha Bhakti. Shuddha Bhakti, what is Shuddha Bhakti? Raganga Bhakti is Shuddha Bhakti. We think that this Vaidhi Bhakti is Shuddha Bhakti, not Shuddha Bhakti. Never. A spontaneous love to Krishna. This is Raganga Bhakti. We are practicing this. Then. And when it will be practiced, then it is a ragatmic frame. When we have no ragatmic frame and we are cultivating by our whole senses for that bhakti, then it is ragatmula. And when we accept the same thing which Rupa Goswami possesses in his what is that? Palladashi of Srimati Radhika. We conditioned soul have only right to go in this, not to being Lalita, Vishakha. We cannot accept all these things. It is beyond the limit of conditioned soul. We can follow only Rupa Goswami and Rupa Rati, <coughs> Lavang Manjari and all Manjari. Personality Baba, they told that, oh, you are Lalita, I am Lalita. This is like a Maya, Maya Baba, that is monism. Don't try to go. Don't try to go in this thing. Artificially. Don't do nakal. Imitation. Don't do imitation. Come in the process of Siddha Bhakti Gnong Thakur, and that process is elaborately told by Siddha Bhakti Siddham Saraswati Purushami Thakur. Siddha Bhakti Vinod Thakur foretold, foretold, for that near future, in near future, so many hundred thousands of Western devotees are coming with Sikha and Tulsi Mala and they will meet with Indian devotees and they will do Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.
And then our whole world, it will spread this mission of, pure mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, started by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So he is the root of all preaching, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So we are indebted to Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, really. Today is the auspicious day. There are so many things to be told. I may tell, uh, tell it no briefly and in another day. But I think that uh, what was useful for you, they have told everything about what we know. Also, today is your special day for Sridhar Pradhan. Pradhan Prabhu is himself not only associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is himself herself for Srimati Radhika. Krishna take beauty, golden beauty and mood of Srimati Radhika. And he came in a form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gauchandra. Actually he is Krishna. Only to satisfy his three modes, Aradhaya, Pranay, Mahima, Kishudish. And to sprinkle the mercy, Hmm? To give that frame to all jivas here. Hmm? Because he is so merciful and he is so rashik. Rashik Shekhar Krishna Paramakarun E Dui Hetu Dinar. He was merciful and that is why he is giving Krishna frame to jivas. But what kind of Krishna frame? Prem Shri. The beauty of bhakti. What is that beauty of unnata ujjwala rasaṁ swa bhakti? That is the mode of Rupa Goswami. Tambula, Pranapada, Mardana, Payodana, like this, all these things. Hmm? We are only um, qualified to go inter in this. Not Lalita, Vishakha, Chitra, Chandravari and all. We are not like that. So, if Krishna took the mood and beauty of Radhika, then Radhika was like zero? Was she? No. He was only practicing how Srimati Radhika was in meeting and in separation in both ways. How he was happy in serving Krishna and how he was Feeling so much separation more when Krishna used to go to Mathura or Dwarka or in cow herding or if Srimati Radhika has man. Sometimes Krishna used to have man also. So here in this past times of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gadadhar Prabhu was looking after always very carefully that Krishna is playing my role actually or not, where is defect. So always looking out. And if there was any loop and hole, there was some loopholes sometimes in Krishna also. So he used to review Krishna and to teach that this mood is mine. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu crime form, uh, Gaya, and now he was playing role of oh, Krishna of everyone. This is the mood of Srimati Radhika. Aitina Dayadra, Nathahe, Maturana, Padavalokkase, Hridayam Tad Adok Kataram, Like, also there is one slok which Mm, Madhvendra Puri used to recite. He Krishna, He Chapala, He Karunai Kasindhu. What is it? Uh, he Krishna, He Chapala, He Karunai Kasindhu. Uh, but what is the first line? Uh, or in Srimad Bhagavatam. Hmm? Like He Nath. He Raman, He Prishta, Kwasi Kwasi Mahabuya, Kipanaya Dasya Ste, Sakhe Dasya Shanti, like this. 
So, Vadakar Pandit was associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in boyhood. He used to play in the lens of Navadvip with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when they were naked. When they were reading in schools, part sala, he was also associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he came from Gaya, he was associates. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took renounce order and gave up his worldly life, he was also associated with him. And he went to Jagannath Puri with him. And he promised that I will never give up this holy land of uh, Jagannath Puri. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going to Vrindavan. Now he was ready to give up this promise. <laughs> Chetra Sanyas, Chetana Mahaprabhu, take get him. Oath of his own head, don't go. You should be here. Because Chetana Mahaprabhu wanted that I should go alone, Vrindavan. Otherwise, if Gadadhar will go, then all will know that I am Krishna. So he was fearing so much. So, anyhow, he stopped Gadadhar Pandit. Gadadhar Pandit was coming with him uh, up to any village of Odisha and there was a very big river. Then Mahaprabhu told that you certainly come with me from here. He should stop you. I am giving you my oath of my gate. Then he became, at once became pen and Mahaprabhu, at once, as a Nishthur, cruel hearted, he went along with two Brahmins, unknown Brahmins, and he went to Vrindavan. When he came, he used to be with Gadadhar Pandit in Gopinath temple. Gopinath? Sota Gopinath. Sota Gopinath. Once, he was hearing Srimad Bhagavatam from Gadadhar Pandit. At once, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stood up and told Gadadhar, I want to give you a very wide, near and dear thing to you. Because I want to take. He told that, uh, take some sands from here. And a little sand was taken from there and a Gopina. Very beautiful deity came from sand and he gave it to me. He told that this is my heart, and you should always worship this deity. He began to worship. Once Nityananda Prabhu came, having some cloths and beautiful rice and something else, and he gave to Gadada that if you should uh, make preparation of rice, shark and all other things. But the Pandit was so expert in cooking because she was Radhika. And everything cooked by her was like more than nectar. Very quickly he did the rice that he done on the proof. And he gave that bastra to cloth to Gopina. And he took some Tetul Patta, tamarind leaves, and cooked a very good rasala from that. He took some uh, forest uh, shark, grill leaves, and made it so beautiful. And when he offered and Nityananda Prabhu was to take prasad, at once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and told, Oh, you are cheating me. Why you not uh, in, in, invited me? And you are going to take only alone Nityananda and Gadadha both? I will also take Mahaprasad. Then he also sat there and Nityananda Prabhu and Mahaprabhu took Prasad and they were very satisfied there. After some time, one day he was hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. What? Krishna disappeared from Brahma, from Rashlila. 
and they were singing and weeping with tears. Tavakatamritam Tattajivadam Kavadiritam Kalmashapam Shabadamangalam Srimadatatam Bhuvitrinanti De Bhuridajana Mahaguru began her heart went missing. Brother Prabhu recited in such a separation mood that Mahaprabhu was meditated. He began to pray. He runs at once towards the temple and went to Jagannath and mixed in Jagannath. Gopinath. 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 Prabhu was waiting that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will return, but he never returned. Never returned. And he began fainting and rolling down on the earth. Oh Mahaprabhu, where have you gone? Let us. In praying, in the mature stage of praying, a Mahabhirahatmi comes. Like Koti Koti Pradayagni. Means what I told Separation. In mature stage of praying, a Mahapirahadmi, like more than Koti Koti Pralayagni, destruction, millions of times more than that. Whole world burning in that, hmm? coming from the third eyes of Sankha, all are burning. So, less and less time more than that, very painful. A stage comes. Gopi feel like this in the separation. One month separation, a one moment separation. So painful for this. A arti comes. Arti comes. Arti means pain for agony. Oh Krishna, where you are? Where are you are? Like this. This makes a very anarvachaniya sampatti. Anarvachaniya sampatti means? Indescribable wealth. Well. And in this stage, this wealth, what wealth that I am telling? Hmm? It dance over all kinds of happiness on the heads of all ananda. And that is called Vipralambharas. Though it is seen very painful from outside, more than cross and cross heat of pralayagni. Pralayagni means destruction fire. But yet, a anarvachani ananda comes. By seeing this, Krishna melts. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was melted with the, this Pirahagni of Srila Gadadha Pandit. We cannot define this when we will be in Braja and when we will feel separation, then we can know something. But we cannot describe to anyone. But it is the highest thing. And if there is nothing, then we cannot taste meeting of Krishna. So, Krishna is melted to see the devotee stage of separation mood. In our Shadam stage, we will have to feel some separation. If you are not feeling separation for Krishna, how we can do anything for Krishna? We cannot do any shadhana. But if feeling separation, that is something actually. And then more and more. And when we will come to Mark Shatran, Bhavada mood, Bhavada Then this something abhas of that Virhagni will be manifest here. And then Sri Prasadi will come. 
and this stage. So, the ordinary person, they cannot know what is that separation mood. Say they laugh sometimes. When Srivast Pandit was rolling down on the earth and waiting bitterly, hearing this sloka, Baraha, Pidam, Natabarbato, and all the pandits of now they were laughing and joking and they took his body and they, what? they throw him out of that school. Ketan Mahaprabhu become very serious. They don't know Bhagavad even. So they laugh and joke. So Chaitanya, uh, so Srimad Bhagavad is telling. Mukti Dadati Na Asma Bhakti Yoga. Mukti Dadami Karadi. No Asma Bhakti Yoga. Krishna gets liberation and can give liberation and all these things, worldly things he can give easily. Mukti also very easily. But these friends Krishna does not give to them. Why? Because they don't know, realize this separation mode. They laugh and joke to devotees. That is why the Krishna. He gets to rare Mandir. Where? Rare. So Bhakti Vinan, Thakur was one of them. And he was the incarnation or manifestation of Sila Gadadhar Pandit. Gaur Shakti. And Gaur Shakti is Gadadhar himself. He is Srimati Radhika himself. So if you will take shelter in the Lord's feet of Gadadhar Pandit and to Srimati Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Then we will come in process and very quickly they will enter in Bhakti Vinod Shukta Bhakti Vinod
जय राधे जय
आरोपी 